Hello everyone, Mike Rempel from Another Set of Eyes with today's Excel Bytes blog post. Today we're going to take a look at how to deal with negative hours in Excel. Excel doesn't handle negative hours very well. So we'll take a look at two different ways that you can deal with that, including looking at the 1904 date system. So let's take a look and see how we can do this in Excel. So here's our scenario. We have several employees who start at 7 a.m. and then they quit at different times of the day, 4 o'clock, 2 o'clock, etc. And in column F, I just have the total time E minus D. And, but their target hours are 8 hours, so I want to see what their variance is to their target. Uh, visually, you can see the first entry here would be 1 hour over, the second entry would be 1 hour short. And I want to total up all those that are positive, total up all those that are negative. So if I just enter a formula here, equals F minus G, and hit enter, it'll give me one hour. But if I copy it down, you'll see there are several instances where I just get a row of pound signs. If I hover over that, Excel tells me that dates and times that are negative or too large display as a series of pound signs. So there are two ways that we can address this issue. One is to convert from the 1900 date system to the 1904 date system. Now what does this mean? Well, by default, if you're using Excel for Windows, Excel uses the 1900 date system, meaning all dates are basically serial numbers counted from January 1st, 1900. So for example, if I put in today's date, 4-13-15, and I change this to general, you can see the serial number is 42107. I'm just going to go ahead and put this over here. Now, if I go to File, go to Options, and under Advanced, we scroll down. There is an option here when calculating this workbook, use the 1904 date system. I'll select that, say OK. Notice now Excel properly displays the negative numbers. Now if I put in today's date here for 13.15 and I change that to general, Notice I get 4645. 4645. If I subtract these two, the difference is 1,462 days. That's the difference between January 1st, 1900 and January 1st, 1904. Now, the problem with converting to the 1904 date system is that. And the 1904 date system is the default system that Mac users use. The problem here is if you're linking to someone who's using the 1900 date system, there could be a confusion of 1,462 days if you're comparing dates or using formulas to subtract dates from different systems when people are using the 1904 versus the 1900. So that's something you have to be very careful of in doing that. Now, if I wanted to go ahead and complete this process using the 1904 date system, all I have to do is, if I want to sum the positives, is just basically do an equals sum if, and my range will be the variance. My criteria, actually I should take that and make it a absolute range. My criteria will be greater than or, well, I need to put it in quotes, greater than or equal to zero. And my sum range will be that same range. I'll hit enter, and my positives add up to 1145. I need to also make this an absolute cell reference. So I'll hit F4. Hit enter. Now if I copy that down and change this to instead of greater than or equal to zero, less than zero, now I get negative 745 as the sum of the negative numbers. And that all works fine, but again, I'm using the 1904 system here. 
Now let's see how we can accomplish the same thing, but using the 1900 date system. I'm going to go back to File, Options, Advanced, scroll down, and uncheck the 1904 date system, say OK, and now you can see my negative numbers go back to pound signs. So I'm going to go ahead and delete that, and I'm also going to go ahead and delete the formula that we had in here. And what we're going to do is we're going to insert this formula here. And basically what it's going to do is say equals if F2 minus G2 is greater than zero, then give me F2 minus G2. If not, then what I'm going to do is use the text function. Now what does the text function do? The text function returns a value as text in a specified format. So then I'm going to take the absolute value, and the absolute value function returns the absolute value of a number, and that's the number without a positive or a negative sign, of F2 minus G2. And I'm going to format that in this format, which you have to put in quotes, a negative H for hours, colon, mm for minutes, close quote, close parentheses, close parentheses again, hit enter, and now that it's positive, it's going to basically just be F2 minus G2. But where it's negative, it's going to format it as a negative hours and minutes. Now, this all looks fine as it is, and you'd think we'd be done here, but actually we do have a problem because where there are negative numbers, these are formatted as text. So if I want to go ahead and sum the positive numbers, actually I can just do Alt equal, highlight the whole area, hit enter, and I get my 1145, which is what I had before in the 1904 date system, because it's basically just ignoring where it appears that are negative numbers, because those are just text. So how are we going to add those negative numbers together when they're actually not values, but instead they're text? Well, what we're going to do is use a helper column to accomplish this. So I'm going to go ahead and insert another column here. And I'm going to head this one called neg values. And we're going to put a formula in that says if F2 minus G2 is less than zero, then give me the absolute value of F2 minus G2. If not, just give me a blank. And here I got a blank there. I'll copy that down. And notice it's giving me the values where they are negative in column H. So now I can do an Alt equals highlight those, hit enter, and now I have the total of my negative numbers. I can hide this column, and now I have a very similar result that I had using the 1904 system, where I have the sum of positive numbers, the sum of negative numbers, and I'm displaying what those positive and negative numbers results are for each of my employees in my data range. And there you have it. I hope you like what you see. If you do like what you see here, please take a minute to share this post on your favorite social network. I can be found on Facebook, Google+, Twitter, LinkedIn, and YouTube. So I hope you enjoy this. If you'd like to see more, please feel free to stop by my website, excel-bytes.com, and I hope you subscribe. So have a great day and happy excelling.